Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Wherever you are in the world, I send you so much love and strength. We are all in this together. Saturn in Aquarius is helping us to transform and understand the value of human life and our planet. We're right in it now and we all have to be safe. Now, this week, there's a lot of intense astrology. We have a Mars and Saturn conjunction. We also have the Jupiter and Pluto conjunction. There's going to be massive breakthrough, I believe, this week and also massive change. And also for yourself, for all of us independently, there's a personal revolution going on. The good news is that Mercury, the planet communication, is no longer in retro shadow. So communication gets a lot clearer. Here's your weekly astrology. Sagittarius, where you're living and your family are very much on your mind at the moment. Not surprisingly, but for you more than any of the other signs as Mercury goes completely out of shadow in your home and family zone. And there's also a spiritual revelation in that area with the Mercury and Neptune conjunction in your home and family zone. This is very, very full on, but also liberating, exciting, a soul awakening where you feel things and you know things from the deepest depths of your being when it comes to your home and family. And it's very important you trust your intuition, you trust your psychic ability, and you pay attention to what your gut feelings are saying around that area. But hopefully it'll be something very, very healing and clarifying as Mercury is no longer in retro shadow. Mars, the planet of action, is and also Saturn joining forces with Mars are in your communication zone. You are committing to a new way of being. Perhaps you've decided that you're going to dump some old ideas and you now realise what it is that you need to commit to when it comes to what you want to talk about, what you want to believe, what you want to learn, what you want to communicate. You may even commit to doing something like writing a book or, or completely transforming your website or doing something or your social media, doing something where your voice, you're committed to speaking and communicating in a brand new way. We then have Venus, the planet of love, shifting signs and going into your relationship zone. Actually, this is usually one of the best times of the year for when it comes to love, but you may be finding a softening in your heart. You may be finding more balance in your romantic relationships. If you're single, I wouldn't rule out falling in love online because this is a time for you to open your heart and to feel things. And, you, and you're feeling very much like you want equal relationships and you're happy to compromise and you want to put all your love out there in the world and you're feeling very, very balanced. And also it's trying Saturn. Maybe a deeper commitment is formed when it comes to your intimate relationships or partnerships or very close friendships. But you're like, you're like, right, I'm in it. I know what I want. I'm happy to dig foundations which is difficult for you because you are the world's wanderer, the, the world's wild one. So it must be pretty serious, but it's looking good. Now, the Jupiter and Pluto conjunction are shifting your ideas of what is important in terms of abundance, in terms of money, in terms of your personal security. But this revelation, even if it's intense because it's Pluto, should deliver you something amazing, something that you need because Jupiter, after all, is the planet of good fortune. Do come and see me on Facebook, Michelle Knight Astrologer, I think it is. I'll be doing live updates. I'll be doing tarot readings for people. I'll be doing tarot courses, astrology courses, you name it. I want to really be of service to help and support and empower everyone at this time. Take care, gorgeous. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michelleknight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpick them and they are fabulous. So I'm gonna to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. My name's Pam. I work as a, a clairvoyant and a medium. I'm aware of the messages around me. I also hear little things. I'm also clairsentient, so I often feel how people are feeling. Having a reading is about, as well as you want the predictions, but you need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. It's a wonderful experience working on the telephone, whether it be 10 minutes or an hour. I'm working in a place where I am comfortable. Also, it's, it's more challenging. I don't know the person, I can't see the person. So, so the information that the client is getting is pure 
from the universal energies or from the cards. I'm just working with the truth and trying to deliver that in a way that is very helpful as guidance and to empower you. The reading for me is not about me. I'm not in it. It's about you. Thank you.